Hey guys, welcome back to another video and greetings from Koenji. Today we are going to be taking you guys to one of the best places to enjoy Okinawan food right here in central Tokyo. So we were in Okinawa just last month actually mm -hmm. and we had a great time there. Uh, we made a couple of videos from Okinawa so if you guys haven't seen that, those videos what are you waiting for? Check them out. One of our favorite places was Dachibin. That's the restaurant we went to in Naha City in Okinawa. It was one of the best Okinawan food restaurants I've ever been to. I gotta say probably the best place for Okinawan food. However the main branch of Dachibin is located right here in Tokyo in a place called Koenji and Koenji is a great place to visit. We also made a couple of videos of Koenji showing you what to eat here, uh, where to have coffee, etc. So check those videos out as well because uh, you know this is located in our neighborhood. We always come here a lot. It's a great place. In Koenji, there are many shotengai shopping streets. Today's restaurant is located one of them, Nakadori Shotengai. So talking about Okinawa, what is the best drink to start? It's Orion beer. Yes. Kanpai. I'm happy. I'm drinking Orion beer and waiting for Okinawan food. Today is a no alcohol day for me. But luckily for me, they have a clear free Orion beer. It's a non alcoholic beer. I know. It's like, why drink if there's no alcohol? But you know, it's pretty good. Now, we do have to say thank you to our friend Aine san who lives in the neighborhood. She's the one that introduced us to this Dachi Bean restaurant. Like Satoshi said, we went to the one in Okinawa. It was wonderful. For some reason, we've never been to the original branch, which is like located, you know, like near where we live. Like, this place is literally like. A uh, 20 minute bicycle ride away from where we live. I heard many people who are born and raised in Okinawa come here, so it must be very good. So, just like the Naha branch, the restaurant is housed in this very traditional Okinawan house, uh, very, very authentic, and I believe they have a second floor as well, so it's a pretty big restaurant. So, we ordered seven dishes that we didn't try at the Naha branch. So, we're really really excited and most of these dishes except for one are brand new to us so the first one we got is maguro no tempura which is tuna tempura so this is what it looks like and these are chunks of tuna deep fried in this uh, very typical Okinawan tempura batter. Okinawan tempura it has this thicker batter it's not as crispy as the mainland one and we're gonna eat this with a little bit of sea salt and a squeeze of lemon. Mmm, I love it. I love Okinawan tempura. This is such good flavor. The, the fish itself is very flaky and fresh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The maguro flavor is tasty. Sometimes um, cooked maguro tastes a little bit fishy, but this one. You don't have to worry about the fishy smell. It's clear maguro taste. It's very tasty. Next stuff is my first time to eat. It is called sunshi. It is menma. It's simmered bamboo shoot. Menma is regularly it's on top of ramen noodles. But this one is simmered dish like this. And it doesn't look like menma for me. But smells like ramen noodles, ramen soup. This one is a specialty of Ishigaki Island. Ishigaki Island is the west side of Okinawa. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mm, mm. It has crunchiness, but it's softer than ramen noodle menma and flavor. It's like a soy sauce flavored ramen soup. Oh, it's tasty. And I love this texture. I also see pieces of uh, pork belly. I see konyaku as well as a green onion. So it's like a, it's like a, a menma stir fry. Mmm, mmm, yummy. Oh, 
I never had anything like this before. Mmm, it's so good. So the next dish is something called soki buni. Uh, basically, these are spare ribs, I believe. Spare ribs of the pork. I'm assuming it's pork. Yeah, it kind of looks like pork belly to me. But anyway, let's try it. I've never tried this before. Mm. 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 So flavorful. Mm. So flavorful. Definitely pork. It's very simple, but the flavor is like a sweet soy sauce. Not quite teriyaki. Not that strong. Mm. A little smoky. Really nice pork flavor. It's just very, very juicy and very flavorful. Mm. Mm. So good. Okay, I'm gonna be eating the soki buni. Mm? Mmm, this one, the flavor of a sweet soy sauce, it's really tasty. And maybe because of the, the umami from this pork, it's good. Good pork flavor with soy sauce, sweet soy sauce, and it goes well with beer. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's Mmm. So next, I'm gonna be eating egg omelette, but it's not simple egg omelette. It's called fuchiba tamago. Fuchiba means mogwats, yomogi. Yes, fuchiba leaves are in this egg omelette. I did not know about fuchiba uh, before I went to Okinawa this October. I put a little bit ketchup. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Inside of this egg omelette, it has the mogwart flavor, leafy taste. It's like a, a medicinal leaf flavor. Don't worry, it's not so strong and tastes good. <laughs> I feel very healthy. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is such a unique combination. I don't think I've ever had mugwort inside a tamagoyaki never it's the first time definitely you have that you know medicinal sort of earthy planty taste that mugwort has but i myself well, we both love mugwort all right guys this is called ninjin shiri shiri i believe this is the only dish that we are familiar with but this one looks a little bit fancy because i see um uh, what's this are these apples? Or, no, 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 it can't be apples. I think this is kamaboko right here. Nijin shiri shiri basically is a stir fried carrot dish, a very, very popular dish in Okinawa. And I believe that is a scrambled eggs. And yeah, let's give it a try. You know, this is very different from any ninjin shiri shiri that I've had before. There's tuna in here. Like the like the the, the, the canned tuna tuna. Mm. Um this is Okinawan Kamaboko fish cake. Totally different texture from the Kamaboko that I'm used to eating. It's actually firmer. And the carrot itself is very crispy still. Very nice. In Okinawa restaurant, I recommend to try Awamori. It's Okinawan kind of shochu made with rice made from rice um i recommend kusu kusu is aged rika aged awamori it has mild flavor mm. so i i ordered the five years kusu five years aged kusu called kiku no tsuyu i'm having it on the rocks itadakimasu Oh, smells nice. Hmm, awamori, awamori smell. Oh, for me, it's like a brandy, brandy. It's mild, mild and very flavorful. The sweetness of rice. Hmm, good, good sake, awamori. Shiri shiri is a sound. When they slice or make this julienne with slicer, shiri 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 shiri, like that, if my memory is correct. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Oh, oh, kamaboko fish cake. 
The flavor is different from my expectation. What shall I say? Yeah, it's tuna, canned tuna flavor with, with carrot.、Mm-hmm. It has lots of umami, not only this、uh, carrot flavor. Oh, I love this. So, next one is stir fried noodles, yakisoba, Okinawa yakisoba. Yakisoba is also popular in Okinawa. The most popular flavor is salt, I heard. But this one is squid ink. Squid ink is popular in Okinawa too. And this one is yakisoba, stir fried noodles. Ooh, look. It has onion and a little bit. A little bit of garlic taste. Maybe this comes from squid ink.、Mm. And onion flavor with this moyashi. Oh, I can, I can taste every single flavor in, in this dish. So this comes with a wedge of lemon, so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon on top of my noodles. I do like squid ink dishes, like you know, squid ink pasta, for example. The only thing is you have to be careful when you eat, as your teeth are gonna be all black. Mmm, mmm, that's actually really good. It just tastes like、um, the pleasant taste of the ocean. Yeah, I like the sliced onions in here, and I, I can also taste like bits of squid. This is so much fun for us because we're not super familiar with all the dishes of Okinawa. You know, we, we know all the, the, the typical ones, the popular ones like Goya Champuru or Shimanakyo, Mozuku. Umibudo, Sata Anagi, you know, the ones that everyone knows, but we tried ordering things that we didn't try before. So, this is a lot of fun. These are like disc shaped, they're cut in half, they're disc shaped uh, uh, deep fried stuff. And it is the purple color is coming from the local Okinawan、uh, purple potatoes. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh. I like this. Mmm. Mmm. The outside is actually a little bit crispy. The outer layer is nice and crispy. But the inside is a little bit like mochi. Not as sticky as mochi. And very, very pleasant flavor of purple sweet potatoes. The sweetness comes just from the sweet potatoes. It's sprinkled with a little bit of salt, sea salt. So you get both sweet and salty. Mmm, and that's like my new favorite.、Mm, so good. Oh, mmm, mmm. The surface is a little bit of sakutto. Very thin layer of sakutto. Sakutto layer. It's, it's good. It's a good accent. And the inside is mochi mochi, a little bit squishy. Mmm. It's sweet and a little bit salt flavor. It matches, it combines really nicely. So, I told you, Master. I told you, Master. I told you, Master. Ah, it's good. It's good. Very good. Yeah, so glad. So glad we came here finally. I enjoyed so much. I think we are very lucky. We have a nice Okinawan restaurant near. Our house. Yes, yes, yes. And you know, there are so many other dishes that we haven't tried yet. That's right. So we're definitely coming back、mm-hmm. and、uh, going to try out all the other dishes. Yes.、Um, and you know,、um, I just found out that they actually operate more than one restaurant in this one neighborhood. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they have a pretty long history here in Koenji. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, very, very interesting.、Mm. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Don't forget to smash the like button. And if you're new to our channel, Please consider subscribing, especially if you like videos like this one. Also, once again, check out our older Okinawan videos, especially the ones that we made last month, because those videos are amazing, if I may say so myself. Thank you for watching. See you on the next delicious video. Bye, guys. Bye bye.